Would you play VR in Dave and Buster's? What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about PlayStation VR and Sony's big bold plans to take over the world, world, world. It doesn't work when you have to say world three times on camera, but you get the point. Sony is doing some things uh, with the PlayStation VR. It's the most successful VR headset in the world right now. And I think it's a really smart move. And if it comes to the West, the way it's going to be going, coming to the East, I think it'll be a big deal. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation VR heading to arcades. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. Sony plans to place PlayStation VR headsets in entertainment facilities in Japan, according to a report. A new location-based entertainment unit inside Sony Interactive Entertainment will lead the virtual reality initiative and look for partners in various industries, including virtual reality arcades, according to the report. That sounds awesome. I spent so much time in arcades as a kid and teenager. They really don't exist anymore. You should go to the mall and just go to the, to the um, arcades. And the thought of bringing arcades back and making them all VR would be so awesome. There are no current plans for Sony to run its own center, though. So, Sony doesn't plan on doing this themselves. They're looking for, for partners to do this around the world. Last year, Polygon reported on the growing importance of virtual reality arcades and helping to push the technology into becoming more mainstream. I think it's a great idea. While different forms of VR arcades have been around since the late 1990s, it hasn't been until recently that new virtual reality gaming centers have been uh, gaining massive popularity around the world. First in China, then in other parts of Asia, and soon widespread in Europe and North America. Oh, shit! Uh, I'm sorry, guys. That's exciting to me. It really is. Uh, a place that you can go, you take 20 or 30 bucks and just hang out in virtual reality worlds and... I'm sure that VR in the arcade would be much better than what we see at home. The only issue I see with VR, like a virtual reality arcade, would be how sanitary they are. You know, if you get into a headset after someone who maybe has a cold, or has bad skin, or just smells like boo-boo. I say boo-boo, I have babies. Uh, that could be an issue. So I don't know exactly how they're going to do that. They're going to have individual face masks for, you know, each time a person gets in there. Maybe it's a plastic sleeve you put on your face. Who knows? But I think it's a great idea. And of course, it will move VR. It will make the PlayStation VR much more mainstream. People will try it out in the world and say, wow, i got to have that at home because VR is incredible. It really is. If you haven't tried it, it's something special. Uh, I hope, hopefully soon we'll see this in the U.S. It says that VR arcades have been around since the 90s. I had never seen one. Uh, I would love to see him. I'd love to go into one. I'd probably spend probably half of a check inside a VR arcade because I love virtual reality. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. you think this would be a good deal for PlayStation if Sony were to partner with companies like uh, Dave & Buster's or arcades that have virtual reality units? Put v PSVR in there and get people playing. Let me know what you think. I think it's a great idea. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and show support for my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Check out some of the playlists, some great videos and reviews up here. And you can also go to the Beastly Gamer website to share your own videos and show your support for my channel. BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,